This episode of Sojourno's Best is brought to you by Full Cell University. Hey, what's up guys, so you know best here. I got the Samsung Galaxy S5 in not too long ago, and one of the new features is actually a fingerprint scanner that's built into the home button. And it sounds familiar because the iPhone 5S also has a fingerprint scanner built into the home button, so I just wanna do a quick comparison between the two. Now, both of them are pretty easy to set up. The iPhone 5S, you go into the settings, and it just basically requires you to lift your finger up and down a certain number of times, covering the entire surface area of your fingerprint. You can store up to five fingerprints using Touch ID. Whereas the Samsung Galaxy the S5 requires you to swipe your finger from top to bottom a certain number of times and you can store up to three fingerprints on the S5. All right, but once you get your fingerprint stored inside of the phone, the most common use is going to be for it to unlock your phone. So instead of using a passcode or a password or a pattern, just simply swipe or just touch your finger, just like you do on the iPhone 5S, and your phone will unlock. So it does make your life a little bit easier. Now, as far as accuracy, both of them are really good, but the S5 is going to be prone to a couple more misreadings because you have to swipe your entire finger, where with Touch ID, you just need to read a certain portion of your thumb or whatever finger you use, and it will work. But again, both of them are really good. And after a couple of days, my muscle memory started to kick in place and I started unlocking my phone with great ease with both phones. Now, another reason why you want to use a phone with a fingerprint scanner is because you can buy things with just your finger and not have to put it in a password. So the iPhone 5 Best is integrated with the Apple stores. So the iTunes store, the App Store, and, or if you're doing an in-app purchase with any type of app that allows you to buy, say, an extra gun in a game, you spend your $199, you just scan your finger and that's it. Now, the Samsung Galaxy S5 is not integrated with the Google Play Store, but it is integrated with the Samsung Store, so you can actually download apps and music from Samsung and use just your fingerprint. Now, one thing that the S5 does have an advantage over the iPhone 5S is that it is integrated with PayPal now, so you can now make mobile PayPal payments with just your fingerprints. And so if you're on a website that supports PayPal, just use your finger and there you go. And also Samsung has opened up the API so developers can use the fingerprint scanner with their own third-party apps. Apple is still really close-knit on their uh, Touch ID and they're really only using it with their apps for now. But I would say Samsung definitely has the right train of thought with opening this thing up so people can use it as much as possible. Now one last quick note, some people are giving the impression that the S5 can only be used with two hands when you're using the fingerprint scanner. And that is true if you do follow the the example that Samsung gives you in the setup process, you hold it with your left hand then you scan your right index finger. But if you go through the setup process, holding it in one hand and scan your thumb down just in a natural motion, it may be kind of at an angle, it will register that fingerprint in there. It may take a couple more tries, but it will work. And now you can unlock your S5 with just one hand. Again, the accuracy of this is going to be a little bit less than what Touch ID is, but it does work that way. And so just wrapping up, guys, fingerprint scanners on cell phones are very useful. They're not just some gimmick. They make my life easier just by buying something in a store or unlocking my phone without having to worry about people looking over my shoulder. But again, they do work. And this S5 with the new fingerprint scanner is a very nice addition to have. So anyway, guys, leave a comment down below what you think about this video. And also, what are your experiences with using Touch ID or the fingerprint scanner on the S5 if you already have one? And thanks for watching this video, guys. And I will catch you later. Peace. And today's sponsor is Full Sail University. Now, you know the mobile app industry is on fire right now. If you want to go ahead and get into this, Full Sail's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can help you get a start into making some good apps. And they will not only help you with the programming side of things, but also the business side that make sure you can develop and deploy your app in a timely manner. And they also help you with making these apps on both Android and iOS platforms. And with Full Sail's Project Launchbox program, students will receive a Mac Pro Pro that's going to be preloaded with industry software and also iOS and Android devices. So if all this sounds good to you, just go to fullcell.edu forward slash soldier, and I'll leave the link down below to go ahead and learn more about this online degree program. Again, that's fullcell.edu forward slash soldier.